の台北駅から地下鉄 MRT に乗って桃園空港に行きます。不是一般的旅游介绍影片，重点都放在无障碍设施的使用状况。影片主角织田游离子一趟台湾行，到处爬爬灶，亲身体验不同城市对身障人士的友善程度。When my son was about three years old, I decided to look for a barrier-free beach and found one about three hours from my house, and we were able to go and enjoy it. I wondered what I had been struggling with for the past three years, and I began to think that information could change the lives of wheelchair users, and I wanted to deliver the information properly to them. It is said that as it progresses, it eventually makes a person bedridden. For me, it has progressed since then, and I became a wheelchair user when I was 26. 不只是拍摄影片，让更多有同样困扰的网友能够参考，甚至透过众筹设计出一款地图 APP， 除了提供各地的无障碍空间指示，还能让坐轮椅的民众能够透过 APP 互动，拓展交友圈。Like what do you do on a rainy day? And how do you cut your hair in a wheelchair? 透过跟广大网友交流，彼此分享心得 ，A P P 的资讯也越来越丰富，帮助更多生长网友能够自在的在不同区域穿梭。Wheelchair users actually visited the restaurant and went over all the details by themselves, such as whether there are any steps at the entrance or how high the tables were. 尤其为了举办2020东京奥运还有帕运，当局大幅增加了无障碍设施，还找来织田游离子亲自测评。Toilets are particularly Particular concern for wheelchair users. They are always worrying about where the toilets are. For example, it's hard for me to use a restroom without a backrest, so we try to store such detailed information properly. Many people might not have thought about diversity or barrier-free facilities without the Olympics and Paralympics. I was very impressed that the barrier-free facilities went beyond just the minimum requirements. 就连参加帕运的夺牌选手对身边的改变也很有感。Compared to the time when I was first in a wheelchair, there are now a lot more facilities for disabled people in the cities, such as parking spaces and toilets. I mostly use cars to get around, so that I can easily carry my wheelchair for sports. There are barrier-free facilities where I live, including elevators, so I can use the train and other public transport without difficulty. But the Olympic Committee of Wheelchair Users has said that disabled users should not be limited to using wheelchairs in these facilities. I think the biggest thing is that we people with disabilities have to be able to adapt to the society that's available. But also,、uh, people in Japan making things more available and looking at the needs of people, seeing through the eyes of the people with disabilities, and I think the Paralympics help expose some of those kind of things. 不论是帕运赛事还是地图 APP， 都是在创造更多元的环境，要给予身障人士更自由的空间，也让一般民众能更了解他们的需求。不只是要拆除建筑的障碍，更重要的是要让人心当中的隔阂消散。t v b 新闻综合报道，掌握全球情势，国际新闻全新选择 ，YT 频道 TVBS 国际 Plus 扩大视野，欢迎订阅并开启小铃铛。